All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Why not comments? Today, we're actually going to look at a collection short story. Um, I went to an antique shop asking for comic books. The guy said, I actually want some at an auction. I'll bring them that. I'll call you when I bring them. And he actually just called me and said that he's willing to sell the whole collection. So. All right, guys, so here's some of the comic books. Uh, he, this is a little shop, but he's got two, three boxes like this. Mm -hmm. And he actually had half of them turned the wrong way and just kind of just kind of flipped the wrong way. But there's some, a lot of Richie Rich and stuff. And some of this stuff is already priced like kind of crazy. Um, and I was actually talking to the guy and I said, well, uh, are you willing to just, can I just pick out kind of what I want and you, we'll make a deal with that? So he said, yeah. So I ended up picking out the good books that I want because a lot of this Richie Rich stuff he had for 15, 20, 30 dollars. I mean, I could, I'm not going to pay, I mean, I would probably pay like two dollars a book, but even then that's roughly what they're worth. So I, I didn't even really want to mess with that. So he actually was really cool about it. And, um, so I do find some, uh, Marvel stuff, some DC stuff. A lot of good stuff and I actually picked what I wanted out of the whole collection so I got what I wanted that way I ain't stuck with a lot of bulk stuff that I can't really make no money on and you don't get to pay you don't have to pay as much for books that you, it's not really worth as much like $50 yeah, for that that's crazy like 50 stuff. but I do dig in here and find some good stuff and that. um so y'all stay tuned to the end and I actually grab a lot of good stuff All right, guys, so we start digging. I, there's a lot of books that I did miss, so let me know in the comments below what you think I should pick up when I go back. I wasn't really sure what he was going to charge me because, this, like I said, this is like the second time I met this guy. He finally called, and he said he got comic books, but I didn't know where he was at, if he was going to charge it. It's going to be $1,000 because you you can see the prices they had on some of these books was kind of crazy. But I didn't know at the, until the very end uh, what he was going to charge me. So I am going to go back, so let me know what, what I should pick up. And... Um, We'll see you at the, at the house. He does got a couple more ASM books in this other two boxes, but I do start digging. But look, if you see, one of them says 60. What does that one say? S uh, 50. So like I said, I wasn't sure what he was going to charge, but now I kind of forgot about that one because he has three more boxes and um so i was digging through these and i was digging through another one but now that i see that i am gonna go pick that a couple of them asm books up but uh, there's the other box and like he has them all scattered out kind of crazy but um and they're all turned the wrong way and this and that so it's very hard to go through them and um but we do end up uh, going through them and i actually get a lot of good stuff and uh so stay tuned All right, guys, we just got back. Um, I actually got over 25 books. I think I did pretty good, and I'll tell you what I paid at the very end. Um, if you get anything out of this video, please know, just ask the people, do they have comic books, antique shops, uh, yard sales, flea markets, ask them. That's what happened. I asked the guy, does he have comic books? He says no, but the auction, and he didn't know much about them. They already had them priced. They was in weird bags. Where's that bag at? Oh. They was in weird bags like this that already had the prices on them. And he looked a couple of them up. He said the prices are not even close. 
And I told him I was looking kind of for Marvel or DC kind of superhero stuff. And all of it was like Richie Rich and it's kind of some of the stuff that I just don't collect. And he said, you know what, get what you want and um, we'll, we'll figure out a price at the end. And that's what we did. And I actually did really, really good. Let me know how I did in the comments below. If there's any books that I missed, let me know. And I, I can go back to the guy anytime. But um, there was in, I had to put, put them in bag and boards because there's in whatever that is. But um, I've been super busy with uh, this Christmas and I've been at work a lot and I ain't had time to do any lives or anything. But I got a 4,000 subscriber giveaway coming up. We already hit 4, 4K. So thank y'all for supporting the channel, me and the girls and the family. We appreciate it and uh, I want to give back to the community. So I'm going to do a giveaway at the very end. So make sure you leave a like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you hit that notification bell to see if you want or not. I actually had a lot of giveaways here recently. We gave away books. We gave away um, Marvel cards, all kind of stuff going on in the channel. We might go live and do a, a Christmas giveaway at the end of the month, but we're going to do a 4, 4K giveaway pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and get into some of these comic books, and I'll let you know what I paid at the very end. All right, guys. Um, we got Captain America number 354. It's the first appearance of U.S. Agent. Not too bad. Uh, that's about a $15 book. We got Web of Spider-Man number one. Super clean book. I'll, I'll say this book's probably around $20. A lot of comic books now are kind of going down a little bit. If, you have, if you're not buying uh, comic books, you should try to buy a couple of them now. Anything that you've been looking for, now is a good time to grab it. Next book we got is Wolverine number 17. Another awesome cover. This is a newsstand. We got Daredevil number 36. How cool is that? We got Spider-Man number 13. This is a Tom McFarlane. He, like the number one, there's like, I think there's three of them. But this is number 13. How cool is that one? That was awesome too. Next book we got is X-Force number 11. It's the first appearance of the real Domino. I think number eight was, I don't know if it was supposed to be a first appearance, but there's, it's saying this one's the first appearance. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is number eight the first appearance or is it number 11? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's number uh, 11. Then we got um, Spectacular Spider-Man number 100 and number 30. Uh, number 100 and number 87. We got Spot. So, number two good books to pick up. You know, with the Miles Morales uh, universe. Um, they're going to do a second one if you haven't watched it. It's pretty good, actually. A lot of people probably don't like the... Uh, cartoonish kind of uh, movies, but it's pretty decent. Then we got K's Art number one. Doll uh, number one, that's a cheap book. We got, this is actually the second appearance of Gambit. It's pretty pretty cheap book, probably like five, ten dollars Went ahead and grabbed that. We got X Factor number one, newsstand. No, no Apocalypse, I wish there was, but that one wasn't there. Then we got G.I. Joe number one. I was happy to see this book. There's actually a Tales of G.I. Joe. It's probably worth about $25, but this is the one you want. This goes for a pretty good uh, amount of money. We got X-Men number 112. We got another uh, U.S. agent. So this is actually the, uh, the book I'm going to give away. First appearance of U.S. agent. So again, make sure you leave a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe, and I'm going to pick a comment down below. And this book is going to one of y'all lucky subscribers. So make sure you hit the notification bell, and make sure you subscribe, and hit the like button. This is going to one of y'all and put it over here. Because I grabbed two of them. We got a first appearance of Static. Static number one. This is actually the third one I own. I keep finding these, but not too bad to grab it. And then we got Avengers number 258. This is the second appearance of Nebula and the second appearance of the Fire Lord. Cool cover. We got Defenders number 35. This says it's the first appearance of the Red Guardian. The new Red Guardian, I'm guessing. Because I know the first Red Guardian. Uh, what number is that? Avengers number... I can't remember, but I'll pop it on the screen real quick. We got Wolverine number 10. People love this cover. We got Alpha Flight number 51, Jim Lee, art, first Jim Lee on Alpha Flight, newsstand. 
We got Amazing Spider-Man number 26. Awesome cover. We got uh, we got Daredevil number 10. It's my third copy of this one. It's first appearance of these guys right here. It's probably worth probably $30, $25, $30. And we got Thor number 141. The little Silver Age Thor. If you're getting anything out of this video, ask the people do they have comic books. Uh, I mean, this was an antique shop. I mean, I asked the guy, does he have comic books? He said, no, but I go to auctions all the time. And let me leave me your number. And guess what? He called. So that's why you leave your information and you ask if you have comic books. Because eventually it'll pay out. All right, guys. So what did I pay? For all these books, I paid $200, so I think I did pretty good. Let me know how you think I did in the comments below. But anyways, if you join the content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Peace. You'll pay out. And what I pay at the whole... <clears throat>